Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Trenton Catholic is brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. Monday Night Hoops, and we have a good one coming your way. 9-4 Trenton Catholic, hosting number 14 in the NJ Top 20, Camden. A player to watch in this one is 6'9 sophomore Lance Ware, who is making his way back into the lineup after sitting with an injury in their previous game. It was a close battle early on. Miles Thompson burying the tray helps the high take an early 6-4 lead. Corey Greer then going to hit one of his own as Camden is ahead 11-9 with 3.25 to go in the first. But the Iron Mikes wanted this matchup. Peter Sorber with the slam ties it at 11 with 2.51 remaining. And that was a momentum shifter. Sorber a few plays later working in the paint helps them take a one point lead. And before the quarter's over, Quashawn Lane hits the jumper to make it 16-11 Trenton Catholic at the end of quarter number one. They start testing the three ball in the second. Khalif Battle going to kick things off with a tray to make it a seven point lead in the opening minutes. Then Quashawn Lane gonna give it a try. Wet. TCA up 28-21 with just under two to go in the second. And with time winding down, EJ Evans gets this one to fall. Going into halftime, the Iron Mikes are leading number 14 Camden, 30 to 23. The Panthers came out of the break ready to make a statement, and they sure did. Lance Ware chucks it down court to Ethan Tarte to make it 30-27 with 5.28 to go in the third. Then Ware gonna take matters into his own hands as he'll throw this one down with ease. He brings them within one as Camden trails 34-33 with 3.38 left in the quarter. TCA will just not give back that lead. We have a tie game with just under two remaining before the fourth, and Khalif Battle with another banger gives the Iron Mikes a three-point lead, but Lance Ware so difficult to hold down. Another rim shaker for Ware, this time before the buzzer. At the end of three, the high trails Trenton Catholic, 42-41. Both teams not making this an easy game by any means. Panthers have not led since the first, and they put the ball in the hands of their go-to playmaker, Corey Greer. He drives it in, and with the left, helps Camden take the lead at 45-44 with 5.25 to go in the game. A few moments later, Lance Ware going to drive it to the rim on a fast break, and he makes it 48-44 with 3.24 remaining in regulation. But good luck holding this Trenton Catholic team down. Latrell Reed with the contested lay-in makes it 48-46 with 2.50 to go. We are coming down to the wire with just 38 seconds remaining. Trenton Catholic down 50-48, looking to upset the number 14 team in the state. Forget a tie. They get it to EJ Evans for the win. No good, but TCA recovers. Peter Sorber puts it up, and that one is good. We are tied up at 50 with seven seconds left in regulation. No timeouts left. Panthers will get it to their ace, Corey Greer. Gets an open look. No dice. We'll head to overtime. But Lance Ware gets a piece, and he beats the buzzer. That's game. The sophomore delivering in the final two seconds to help Camden escape an upset. 52-50 is your final from Hamilton. So much excitement for a Monday night. An absolute nail-biter that needed all 32 minutes to decide a winner. Lance Ware coming back from injury to help number 14 Camden take home a W at the buzzer. He records 13 on the night, with his last bucket being the most important. The high improving to 11-2 and have just two more games left on the schedule for the regular season. Look for them when they take on rival Woodrow Wilson next. Trenton Catholic dropping another close one. The 9-5 record does not reflect how this team has played all season. Back-to-back -back ranked opponents all year and hanging with most of them all the way down to the very end. The Iron Mikes will have to shake this one off as they will take on nationally ranked St. Benedict's next. Afterwards, we caught up with sophomore sensation Lance Ware on how he helped lead his team to victory. Uh, I seen Corey drive. He just hit a game winner a few weeks, like last Saturday against Westtown. So I'm like, oh, he's about to get another one. And then I seen it bounce off, and I seen uh, the big fella jump. So I just jumped after him and tipped it in. Uh, it was just, I was just happy we got a W. I didn't want to go into overtime. I'm still a little tired. So I was just happy we got a W. It was a good win. Um, just to go back to practice. And we, did, we didn't play our best game, actually. We, did, we got to learn how to run our sets better. So back in the lab, and just trying to get better. I'm Nair Rodriguez, and you already know, it's Jersey Sports Zone. Want to see highlights and features from your favorite school? Jersey Sports Zone is entirely supported by our great sponsors. Email marketing at jerseysportszone.com to get your business in front of our loyal audience and highlights from your hometown.